Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you my gaming home theater setup. This has been a long time in the making. I did the review on the P-Series 75-inch Vizio TV here behind me. I love it. Uh, I then real once you have a really nice TV, you're like, hey, my sound system's not that great. Um, and then also in the last video, if you watched my TV review, I had it on the stand. So I have now wall mounted the TV, I put LEDs around it, and I have upgraded the sound system to, in my opinion, this thing is phenomenal. Like it is crazy how good it sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of my setup. I know I haven't made a video in a while. This has been my little project, but I've been, uh, you know, watching a lot of movies, playing, playing some games and this setup right here. I'm digging it, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, starting off with the TV here, we have some 4K content through Netflix. Um, as you see now, it is we do have the LEDs in the back. That's what's lighting up the back here. I just have a small strip along the back. There's a little control module here at the top, and I can set it to any color that I want. Um, and then the wall mount itself is awesome I'll put a link I'll put a link to all this stuff but the really good thing about this one is it's rated to, for like a, over 160 pounds the TV is only less than a hundred it tilts so here you can go ahead and watch me tilt it here it could tilt right to left okay just tilted it down and if I wanted to I can mount it a lot higher and it's hard to see in the dark here but uh, let me turn the light but it is now tilted quite a bit downwards as you see there I did not have full control over the setup you know you have to appease the the wife as well uh, so for example these speakers are easily removable because they're just a banana plug away but here we go we have the SVS prime bookshelf speakers we have the SVS prime center speaker there's the other bookshelf. And then we have the SVS SB2000. That's a 12 inch subwoofer, 1100 watt peak, 500 watt uh, standard. And then we have the Denon ABR-S740H driving everything. It has over six outputs so I can connect my laptop to it here. I got a Wii U in there, a Raspberry Pi. I could do, I have a recall box build that I add on to all that. Uh, so that it does Bluetooth, it does Pandora, it does AirPlay. I mean, you could just read all this stuff up the top. What do we got there? Dolby 7.2, 165 watts, six into one HDMI, 4K HDR, Wi-Fi enabled, Bluetooth, AirPlay 2, Odyssey, which is awesome, and then it has this thing called Heos as well, which I haven't played a lot with. Um, that is driving all these speakers. And this is with the grills off. They all came with grills, but the grills, you know, they look a lot cleaner, but don't look as cool. Now, as far as sound testing for this video, um, kind of hard to do. Because uh, <laughs> A, I don't want to get a copyright strike, but B, you know, you're only going to be hearing it as good as this camera is going to capture it. So uh, I'll, I'll show a, a scene or two that I, uh, really dig and then as far as input like I said, I'm running the laptop So if there's any kind of downloadable content or anything like that the TV itself has a Chromecast built into it for Netflix and YouTube red and then I have a Wii U in here and a Raspberry Pi and then this laptop has a launch box Built on it to play all retro games Super Nintendo Nintendo GameCube all that stuff. So gaming needs are met um, as far as internet driving all this data, like how am I streaming this 4K content with no buffering? I know most high-speed internet connections will, whoa, I don't know if that was safe. Uh, a lot of high-speed internet connections will um, run that kind of stuff, but I'll show you um, as well my Wi-Fi setup, which I've recently upgraded as well. So recently I made a playlist called HDR Sound Test Content. Um, the uh, All these are really great. Um, We've got, you know, the Ready Player number one, the race. I'll put a link to this description if you want music. I picked some songs that have really heavy bass in it, kind of a mix. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm primarily showing you the, the sound system right here. But this next scene in Oblivion is really good. So, 
So that literally shook my entire house. <laughs> so if you're looking for a cinematic experience, it's just a great, great sound system, SVS, they really delivered. Uh, you know, I have these speakers right here, primarily doing all the high notes. It's not doing any of the heavy lifting. As you see here, the speakers are not even that big. I think that what those are like three or four inch, those are like six inch there. But that 12 inch right there is doing all the heavy lifting on the low end and it sounds freaking amazing. And you could just drive that thing up. I mean, you'll blow out your ears way before you can max out this stuff in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure you can, but you probably wouldn't. Um, shout out to SVS as well because they helped me set up the receiver here. As I mentioned, this receiver does have a little microphone that you set up and automatically dials in all your equipment. However, after talking to the SVS, they recommend some manual settings and I change those settings. Uh, part of primarily, you know, making sure these speakers do a little bit less of the heavy lifting with the low end and making sure it's going to your sub and then setting up the sub as well. And after those small little tweaks, it made it even better. The other thing you're not seeing in this picture is behind me. I don't want to show you that is I have two prime satellites. So this is a full 5.1 system. Uh, but again, shout out to SVS. Their customer service is incredible. So lastly, before we go to the Wi-Fi, um, the only thing on the Wi-Fi is I wanted to want to show you is my actual uh, Wi-Fi. Now I'm running the Netgear Orbeez. Uh, they were rated one of the best uh, mesh systems out there and um, just to kind of show you that I'm going to run a quick speed test on my phone uh, just to show you that you know they really are it, it's freaking fast I, I am on a one terabyte connection or a 1000 megabyte connection and to give you an idea there you go let me see if I can zoom in here as this is doing there we go so almost 400 megs down on Wi-Fi and then upload should be close to 400 as well. Okay, 300. So 383, 314. So plenty fast speed there. Okay, so there you have it, the home theater system. Quick uh, rundown. Uh, before I was running these speakers, I was running a Logitech speaker, so I really did upgrade quite a bit. But I did my research, I looked at what was going around. You know, there's clips. There's uh, all these different brands of speakers out there and some get rated better than others. The reason why I went with SVS is A, a lot of the forums were really loved them. They said their subwoofers are amazing. They said like Monoprice and SVS go in that direction and I think those are the right directions. I um, went to Best Buy ahead of time and listened to them there and so I was really impressed by them. Um, uh, the TV mount, love it. I went through a cheaper model before that. Definitely spent a few bucks buying a good uh, wall mount. TV. Um, so the question that I think a lot of people are interested in, you know, now that you bought this and you've had it for a few months, well, the speakers I just got, but everything else I've had for a quick months, would you do anything differently or buy anything else? So TV, I'm really happy with. I think if you go with the Vizio or the TCL, especially at the 75 inch uh, size, go that way. If you're going 65 inch, I might get the P series Quantum. That's the little higher end version of the Vizio. I would go there. If you have, if money is no object, then go with the OLED, go with the LG. I think it's like a C8. Okay. So this is on the TV end. I just, I didn't have that kind of money. You might be wondering how much did you actually spend on all this? You know, I think it really came around right around $3,000 or so for everything. And everything has a five year warranty. I got the extended warranty on the receiver, but I bought the receiver uh, refurbished. The speakers I bought scratch and dent from uh, their outlet store, but you can buy them on Amazon as well and there are sales and things like that. The Vizio I got on sale back during like Black Friday or Christmas or something, I forget, and that has a five year extended warranty or an extra three year warranty to make it five. Um, and then SVS comes standard. All their speakers come with a five year warranty. Um, the Netgear Orbeez, I bought refurbished for 200. They're normally like 350 or 400. So like all the setup, you know, I'm a slow shopper. I wait for things to go on sale and then, you know, you get them. So the, um, that's what I spent for everything. They all come with a five year warranty. I feel really good about that. TV, I said, I would, I would upgrade if I was to go a little bit differently, whether I went down in size or up in size or, or in, uh, quality. As far as size, I would have liked an 85 inch. This is a 75, I think 85, would just fill up this wall perfectly, um, especially considering how far the couch is, but 75 is plenty good there. Um, speakers, you know, I think I'm really good with what I went with. I know I can add an extra sub. 
if I was an Admix or sub, this room really isn't that big, but I hear it is a nice sound experience. It does fill the room a little bit bigger. Or I might go with a ported sub. Do note though, when I was looking at the ported sub, it's huge. It's way bigger than this sub is right here because it has to make room for the ports. And so it's this big, massive thing. And if you don't have the room for it, I don't uh, recommend it. Um, then there's Dolby Atmos, which gives you the speakers that sh are downward shooting and the 3D. Um, I wasn't really sold on that technology. I think a really good 5.1 system is, is just really, really good. And so that's why I went um, that route there. Um, with the Wi-Fi, there's a lot of companies now doing webbed right Wi-Fi or mesh Wi-Fi. I highly recommend it though, whether you're, which brand you pick, who cares, but um, that's been great. And then as far as input devices, I've had the, um, I don't have a Blu-ray player. Actually, I do, but I usually don't use it, so I haven't even hooked it up to the system yet. Um, I use a laptop computer because I can still go on any kind of website and stream directly through there. I used to have the NVIDIA Shield for a while. I, do, I don't use it anymore. I just I feel like the laptop is a better media center. And then I use LaunchBox for my ROMs and things like that. And then as far as video games, I don't play any of the newer stuff like PlayStation 4 or, or, or Xbox. But um, if I did, I'd definitely add one of those to this system. And then I, I'm a big fan of the Wii and the Wii U. I have both. The Wii isn't here. I, I slide it underneath one of the beds. But the Wii is such a great system for interaction and, and parties and things like that. And then the Wii U, if you hack it, it can play everything you want. All the retro games, uh, emulation, GameCube you name it, it could play it. So I would actually recommend that, especially after I've been playing around with it for a little while, or a Raspberry Pi as well. But as I mentioned, if you have a laptop with LaunchBox on it, it could do all the Raspberry Pi stuff and the Wii stuff. But the Wii U is cool because you can play Wii U games, and there's quite a few games on there that are, that are fun to play. Um, so there you have it, that's my setup. Um, oh, another little detail you might not have seen is all the wires there are going down a little wire canal. Um, I could have drilled a hole in the wall, like right here, and then went through the wall and then dropped the wires down. That would have been a clean look as well. I actually already had these pipes though, so it was no additional cost. And then all I did was I painted the pipes the same color as the wall is painted, so they blend in a little bit. Um, and then the only thing I didn't show you too was the back of the AV receiver. It is five into one, so I have the HDMI and the uh, audio, digital audio going into the receiver from the TV. And then the receiver, I have like three or four HDMI outs, which will go to like the Wii U, the laptop, and a Blu-ray player. So it's all just plug and play. Um, as far as the audio cables, I went with, I think these are 14 or 16 gauge wire. I'll, I'll remember by the time I put the video and the links up. And then 24 karat or, or K um, gold connectors for the, um, for the audio wire. So there you go, there's my media center, my my, my uh, game gaming setup. Let me know what you guys think, let me know if you have any questions. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll check you on the next one.